to decide. Well, for decades, America has been a world leader in providing athletic opportunities to women and girls on the same footing as boys. But now opportunities for women are being shoved aside for a new priority, transgender athletes. Biological males who identify as females are entering the competition and dominating their opponents in many sports across the country and the world, in fact. The athletic organization USA Powerlifting, for example, may have to go to court to protect the right of girls to compete on a fair playing field. J.C. Cooper, a biological male, was barred from lifting in a Minnesota competition and has filed a discrimination complaint against the organization. Selena Soule is a Connecticut high school track athlete. This year, she failed to qualify for the New England Regionals in the 55-meter dash by two spots. Turns out two of the competitors who beat her, though, were biological males who were able to enter the race because they identify as transgender. Selena joins us along with Alliance Defending Freedom Attorney Christiana Holcomb. Thanks both very much for coming on. So, Selena, tell us your story. Did, did we misstate that? You were in a race, two biological males were allowed to compete, and you didn't make it by two slots. Is that correct? Yes, it is. I came eighth place and the top six qualify for the regional New England meet. And if those two athletes weren't competing, then I would have been the sixth girl and I would have moved on and advanced. Did you raise your voice and say some, anything about this? Yes, I have been vocal since uh, earlier this uh, winter. And my mother has been for about a year now. And, and what was the reaction that you got when you said something about it? gotten nothing but support from my teammates and from other athletes, but I have experienced some retaliation from school officials and coaches. Oh, tell, tell us, what, what, did, what kind of retaliation? I've gotten some very difficult requests for me to complete in practice, and if I don't fulfill these requests, then I can't compete at all. And this never happened before, it only started after my parents met with the school principal. Huh. Uh, Christiana, is, is there any chance of this being undone? Absolutely, yes. So girls like Selena should never be forced to be spectators in their own sports. But unfortunately, that is exactly what's taking place when you allow biological males to compete in sports that have been set aside and specifically designed for women like Selena. Title IX was designed to ensure that girls have a fair shake at athletics and are not denied the opportunity to participate at the highest levels of competition. So Alliance Defending Freedom on behalf of Selena and a couple of other brave female athletes has filed or is in the process of filing a Title IX complaint asking the Department of Education to step in to investigate and to restore a level playing field for Selena. I mean, Selena, do, do other girls on your team feel the way that you do, that opportunities are being taken from you by biological males? Yes, no one in the state of Connecticut is happy about this, uh, but no one is, no one has enough courage to speak up. And I haven't been the only one affected by this. There have been countless other female athletes in the state of Connecticut, as well as my entire indoor track team. We missed out on winning the state open championship because of the team that the transgender athlete was one. And Tucker, to underscore the inequity here, I want to highlight the fact one of these male athletes now holds 10 records inside the state of Connecticut that were once held by 10 individual girls and were established over the course of about a 20 year period. So it's fundamentally unfair to allow biological males to step into women's sports and, and frankly dominate them and take away opportunities not just to medal but to be at the podium to advance at the next level of competition and even compete for scholarships for young women like Selena. Well, it's, it's grotesque and insane, and it hurts women and girls, and the very people who claim to be defending women and girls are abetting this, are making it possible. And you're exactly right. You, you're a, you are a brave girl, Selena, for standing up in Thank the you. face of what I'm sure is very intense pressure to be quiet and mm -hmm. obey, and good for you for not. Thank you both very much. Good to see you. Thanks, Thank you. Thank you.